politics. Young business leaders have had a chance to grill mayoral candidates vying for the coast's top job. Fighting crime and cutting red tape were among the biggest talking points in the debate. One of these five faces could soon be our city's new leader and today they were put to the test on our big issues. Something they all agreed on was the need for extra police on the front line. So they have 30% plus more policing in Tasmania than us here on the Gold Coast and we get additional tourists as well as our own population. Something is absolutely wrong there. But our newest candidate, Keith Douglas, says to fund more police, we need to cut spending on bureaucracy. Government in Australia is just far too costly. I think three levels of government is too much, and I think in the longer term we've got to move towards regional government. The All Connect saga was another hot topic. Current councillor Susie Douglas admitting council didn't put enough pressure on the state government. Um, I'm embarrassed the way it went. I'm happy to say that we've worked hard to get our water back and uh, I'd like really to get the bulk water supplies back as well. Former Deputy Mayor David Power was grilled on his thoughts about potential candidates and current sitting councillors Eddie Saroff and Peter Young, who are both yet to declare whether they'll run for the top job. Look, we've got a situation where we've got two people who are playing games, they're using public funds to run around and campaign surreptitiously with their council car and their council phones. Probably the most outspoken of the group, entertainer Dean Vegas. He's got a simple solution to make sure council runs seamlessly. So I will say that from a CEO down to the bottom, if you're not there for the Gold Coast, get the hell out before I throw you out. Casey Devlin, 9 Gold Coast News.